Well, aside from expired film, it was a colored egg. It was, uh, I think one roll was a gift from a friend of mine who lives in Virginia. Another roll was something I picked up a while ago. Anyway, many years, many, many years out of date. So uh, we had three cameras we were fooling around with uh, on the, on the, uh, on the, the fateful day. Uh, this is my Leica M2, uh, which uh, a friend of mine, Tom Abrahamson, rest his soul, uh, it was his favorite camera. I believe at one point he had, I don't know, 15 of them. And um, anyway, Tom told me to buy one, so I went and, and bought one. Love this camera. Uh, this is a Leica 3F that was my grandfather's. Um, I understand that he, I'm not exactly sure how he got it. He shot with it quite a bit, and uh, it's always kind of fun to take it out. It's a real challenge to shoot with, but it's, uh, it's a great little camera. And then the third one is an old Balda Baldix um, that one of my relatives asked me if I wanted to have it and shoot with it. I can't even remember uh, how long I've had it for, but it's, uh, it's a 120 size camera, and uh, the focus is more of a guess than anything, but uh, it's part of the challenge. So and that was what we were shooting with. Actually, one of the major reasons why I shoot the, old, the film is so I can use the old cameras. Because uh, a lot of the cameras that, uh, that we have are, you know, they're dirt cheap right now, relatively speaking, and they're a lot of fun. And all the new SLRs and all the new digital cameras are great, but um, there's something about taking photographs with an old M2 or an old Balda that uh, has a certain charm. <laughs> because my friends just give it to me. I have an entire freezer full of film that I, I can't bear to part with. It doesn't really go bad. If it's in the freezer, it'll last for a long time fairly sure that you'll get something that's worthwhile. I don't think I'd want to shoot a job with it, but then I don't shoot jobs with film anyway. That's just not what it's about. It has a certain charm. Uh, generally speaking with film, uh, the higher the ISO, the more it will shift. So for instance, like 800 ISO film, you know, Fuji MPZ or uh, Kodak um, Pro 1000 or uh, Portrait 800, um, after a couple of years, it's, 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 it's really iffy if you want to shoot it because it's, it's pretty. It gets really uh, dark, actually. It just starts to sort of fog. Um, other films, depending on how long they've been kept and where they've been kept, uh, usually you get a, a magenta or a cyan color shift, which is fairly correctable in Photoshop if you want to do that. Otherwise, you can just live with it. But um, generally speaking, the, uh, they just slow down. So your 160 speed film, you need to shoot at 125 or 100 or 80 or 64. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you know, and, and the thing is you have to shoot a fair amount of it because of course you shoot a roll of film that you haven't shot in four years or six years and then you process it and then you look at it and go, oh, now next time I do it, I need to overexpose my half a stop and then it'll look even better. But um, yeah, I mean like you still, it's still color, it's still film, you still get images. Sometimes they're a bit thin, sometimes they're a bit thick, sometimes they're a bit this or a bit that, but you know, generally speaking, you can print through or scan through pretty much anything that goes wrong. I think that I, I love the idea of expired film day because you can you can you can actually hang out with other uh, quirky people like me who like to shoot uh, film, and a lot of it happens to be expired film. And the other thing about expired film is that there's all kinds of film that they don't make anymore. You know, I mean that you you know you want to shoot some EPP, then they don't even make that. So it's it's nice to be able to shoot it. And the only way to shoot it is to get the expired stuff. Well, it was a rare non-rainy day in Vancouver, or non-snowy I guess as well in Vancouver. Um, what did we do? We walked. We just did a little loop around, just found some, some uh, architectural details and some other interesting kind of rundown stuff. It was you know, sort of a nice analogy to be shooting uh, old expired film in an old expired you know, area of town. Um, but it was, uh, it was actually, it was, it's, I love shooting down there. It's a really, it, there's always all kinds of interesting, interesting stuff to see. And every time I go down, there's something new. And we um, yeah, wandered around, took some photos of the cranes, took some photos of the port. There was some, some old signage that we got. and. Uh, and a few other details. Shoot it at, well, I mean, technically I would say I'd shoot it at like an extra half stop or maybe even overexposed by a stop. And get out and shoot it. Meter carefully. Don't, don't waste any time. Get out and make it, you know, make it happen. Okay, so we start with 20 ounces. See, this is the thing, I'm Canadian, so ounces. Oi, imperial ounces, US, yeah, US fluid ounces. It's an American kit. This stuff is going to be rather nasty. Developer, it's ready to go. Pouring our developer. Three and a half minutes. If it came out a little faster, but it's all right. All right, at 3.30, in goes the Blix. 
for six and a half minutes. So three and a half minutes and six and a half minutes is a total of 10 minutes. And the agitation for this is same as above, so 10 seconds. All right. Let's see what we got. Da -da -da -da. Ha! Ha! That's so cool. There's images. They look pretty good, too. Nice. It worked. And there we go. Pawn shop. That was when we were shooting uh, last week. Or whenever it was a couple weeks ago. All right. Sweet. Lucky. So, uh, okay, so we're talking about the, uh, the film that we processed a, year, a couple days ago. Uh, now, the expired film is always a bit of a crapshoot. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before, but that's uh, sort of the name of the game. Our first roll is a roll that I shot uh, with the Pentax 645 from ooh, the mid-'80s. The film was probably only five or six years old, uh, and it looks fine. It looks totally fine. There's, in fact, actually, there's no, there's no edge. Um, uh, differences is all the negatives actually look pretty good, surprisingly good. Uh, totally printable and uh, rather nice. There's a bit of lens flare in a couple of the shots, but that's just you know operator error. Now, on the other hand, the other roll of film that we shot came out of that Balda, um, the 120 camera from goodness knows where. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but it looks like a total mess, uh, which is going to be fun.